Edwards had been the finest footballer in England and was tipped to be one of the greatest the world had ever seen. I didn't see a lot of players who I thought were better than me uh, until I came to Old Trafford. And Jimmy Murphy, the assistant manager, said to me, he said, Bobby, he says, I want you to play with Duncan Edwards. He says, what a player he is. You know? And he's, uh, you know, he's, he's got a great left foot, right foot, balance, everything is right. He says, and uh, he is going to be a great player. And I thought, well, nobody can really be as good as that. But he was, he was. Duncan Edwards, left half, played for England when only 18. Star of the team, the boy who had it all. Greatest footballer of his generation. He could break a team single-handed. Whenever you get the ball, I don't want you to think, oh, we've got to give it to Duncan. Look for each other, your quality players. Play, everybody get a feel of the ball. And at half-time, it was nil-nil. And things weren't going well, and uh, he was giving us, geeing us up, Murphy, just before he went out. I said, and by the way, whenever you get the ball this half, look for Duncan, he said. <laughs> and we did, and we won. And... Fifteen days after the accident, the incomparable Duncan Edwards died in hospital. According to the man who would play 106 times for his country, Edwards would have changed the course of English football history. Yeah, and by 1966 he would have been in his prime, you know. And 
and he would have played for England and he, he might have been holding the cup up for England instead of Bobby Moore. He was, he was just a born winner. I can't say enough about it. He was as perfect a footballer as you could ever want.